Hey folks, welcome to our next exit. November's just about gone and Christmas is almost here. Hard to believe. We're staying at Emerald Cove. It's an RVI park down in uh, southern eastern California right on the uh, Colorado River. And we just put together our November numbers and we're going to go ahead and go over that right now. I know a lot of you guys are getting ready to retire and trying to put your budgets together and uh, these numbers help you out just a little bit. If you want a copy of this spreadsheet, I'll put our email address down here. Shoot me an email and I'll send you a copy. of It's our 2018 budget, but it has all of our numbers in it. And then it has a blank tab that's formatted where you can put in your budget numbers and kind of work out what you think you, you're going to spend for your RV adventure. So shoot me an email. Be sure and say, uh, I want your uh, RV expense spreadsheet or your RV budget so I know which spreadsheet you're asking for. Let me tell you a little bit about our lifestyle. We retired in, in 2015. Pearl and I are both in our early 70s and we started our RV adventure in June of 2017. So this year's expenses goes from December of 2018 all the way up to November of 2019. But then the last column over here is our expenses all the way back since we started in June of 2017. So all that's 30 months, all those months added up and then divided by 30 gives us a monthly average for every one of these line items. And then the last 12 months in the next to the last column is that's the monthly average of the last 12 months and then the uh, total for the last 12 months. And then obviously here's November, October, September, all the way back. So that's kind of how the spreadsheet is set up. A little bit about us. You'll see that there's no line items in here for, uh, we don't have anything, uh, we have no debt. There's nothing in here about depreciation or uh, for the motorhome or our car, those are paid for several years ago. So there's nothing here about that. Our only other major asset is our Thousand Trails membership. We paid $4,000 for that. There's nothing in here about any of those three items, the car, the RV, or a Thousand Trails membership. Uh, our dues and stuff are in here. Everything that we spend is in here, with the exception of what I just mentioned. Uh, we did not sell. We sold our home, but we didn't sell our uh, possessions, our stuff. We're storing them. We spend 3500 bucks a year. That's not in here. And... Anything we give away to charity or, or anything, Christmas and stuff, that's not in here. But everything else we spend is in here. Uh, if you want to know more about how Thousand Trails work, I'll put a link up there. It kind of explain Thousand Trails. Uh, I won't waste all your time going over that now. But let's kind of go, that covers it. Let's kind of go over what we've got. I got my computer down here, so I'm going to have to read off of it a little bit. The month of November, we drove right at a thousand miles. We moved 11 times, and that's way more, that's twice as much as we normally move. But our RV was in the shop for half the month, and so we stayed at hotel, Airbnb, we, uh, relatives, parking lots. We stayed at a number parking lots, we stayed in the RV at the RV shop for three, three or four nights. So we moved 11 times. For the 30 days of November, we spent 14 nights in a thousand trails and uh, I don't know if I mentioned it thousand trails we don't have to pay anything we can stay up to 21 nights from 1 to 21 nights without paying a penny so we didn't pay for any of these 16 nights we spent outside of thousand trails and uh, three of those were at the repair shop four of them were with family members four of them were at a, a casino and right as i mentioned right now we're at uh emerald cove that's an rpi park we pay ten dollars a night for those so we spent five nights at rpi for the month of november to drive that thousand miles we spent 799 dollars on fuel but uh we spent 620 dollars on diesel we spent 123 at, through this TDS card, 123 dollars at Flying J's. Really, we burnt the fuel in uh, October, but we the bill came in like on the first, so it got 
put in this month. And then we bought propane. We buy propane about once a year. We spent $56 on propane. And you can see here, we like to keep track of this line item here. This is how much our diesel cost averages per day for the month. So for the whole month, we try to keep our average diesel cost per day down below $10. We're not too successful in that usually. And then our camping average camping cost below $10. And usually we can do that. So this whole row up here is the average we spent that much, the average we spent that each month for diesel fuel per day. I just like keeping track of it. It gets it down where I can kind of get an idea of what uh, we're spending. And for the last 12 months, we've averaged $10.62. And then since we've been, for diesel, since we've been on our RV adventure, we've averaged $11.72 per day for diesel fuel. This month, $26. But that's because some of this November fuel we paid for in some of this October fuel got in in November. I didn't get the, the bill in time to pay it in October. Campground fees, $378. Now we take our thousand trails, our trails collection, and our RPI annual membership. We add those up, $992. We divide that by 12, and then we allocate $83 per month for those memberships. And then we, we can stay for free there, except RPI is $10 a night. In addition to our dues, we spent four nights in a casino in Reno at Western Village. That is $197. We've uh, five nights staying here at RPI, $10 a night, so that's $50. And then we had reservations at Sparks Marina, but the coach got ready before they thought it would. So we canceled those reservations and went up to pick up the coach. And there was a one night's fee that we had to pay for the non-refundable, uh, 48 So our average campground cost for the month of November is twelve fifty nine, but for the last 12 months is $9.89. And since we've been doing the whole adventure the last 30 months, we're averaging $8.00. And 21 cents and that's the beauty of thousand trails you hear a lot of negative about thousand trails but most of that negative comes from people that don't have a membership and they're just they pull in there to get rent a spot and they pay 50 or 60 dollars a night and it sure as heck is not worth 50 or 60 dollars a night but eight dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars it's well worth that to us so that's the beauty of thousand trails it, it really financially makes all of this work for Okay, this is kind of a tricky one. We had another maintenance thing. As probably most of you know, I backed up into a pole and then when I pulled forward, I ripped off the back of the coach. And that cost us $18,000 to have that repaired. And we had $1,000 deductible. So let me just kind of read this off. $17,900 to re repair the damage I did. And then while we had it in the shop, it seemed like a really, it was a uh, Rehorn RV Collision Center. And they seemed like a pretty quality shop that's family owned and they, they, they convinced that they were pretty good and I think we're right. Seemed to have done a great job. We had some issues with our paint on the sides of the coach where the, the chemicals in the paint was having a chemi chemical reaction with the fiberglass and it was starting to... Uh, come loo uh, bubble up so we had them repair all of that that was seven thousand bucks but what we did you don't you won't see that in here because Pearl and I talked about it instead of polluting our spreadsheet we just gave that to each other for our Christmas present this year and chalked that seven thousand bucks up to Christmas there's nothing in here you're not going to see it in other than right here you won't see it in our numbers because uh, holidays Christmas gifts charity and stuff we don't put in here and uh, some of you might say, no, that's cheating, put it in there, but I just don't want it in here. It pollutes the numbers too bad. So, and we bought two new steer tires, $1,200. The, uh, we had the front end aligned about a month ago, back in October, and the guy told me that 
they were Michelin's and he said it's got a bad wear pattern it was pulling to the right and he convinced me that it wasn't safe those tires are only four not right at five years old and that was a little early I wasn't going to change them but all I could think about it anytime I'd get up Pearl's driving and I'm walking back to get something to eat or something I'm thinking about all oh, that one of them tires is going to blow now while I'm not seat belted in so we decided to go ahead and get two new tires whether they needed it or not so we put on two new tires we put on the safety plus that's a little sh steering thing at the that goes to the t the tie rod so if you want to have a blowout or something it won't let your car the rv just take off towards the blowout and make a big crash we've seen some horrible videos showing what happens when you have a blowout so we put that on and it also helps as you're going down the road as big semis pass you how they push you and suck you it just goes straight down the road it helps out immensely so we're real happy with both of those uh, we're a member of IRV2 if you're not familiar with that website it's the letters I R V and then the number two great website talking it's all about the RV lifestyle and they have a forum on just about every type of RV trailers fifth wheels motorhomes and then every manufacturer has its own little subgroup and it has hundreds or thousands of people in every one of those subgroups and they're all real active and if you got an issue with your RV that's the first place we always go to try to find where to get the part how do you fix something so anyway it's free but if you want to you can give them $15 a month and so we chip in for that bought a headlight bulb and just some hardware so progressive paid uh, as you know 16900 and we chalked the seven thousand dollars up to uh, Christmas so that's twenty three thousand nine hundred what the insurance paid and what we charged up to Christmas and that left us uh, out of our pocket twenty two seventy is what we're putting in for this month we don't do any of that kind of fancy numbers uh, hardly ever but I just don't want to skip the numbers here and that's just something it doesn't affect anybody it's just cosmetics we wanted to do that uh, you wouldn't necessarily do if you didn't have the money and if you had the money you probably would do uh, auto and gas oh on maintenance and let me talk about this just a little more so far this year we spent seventeen thousand two hundred dollars then you throw in that seven thousand that's twenty four thousand dollars that we spent if you're going to do this lifestyle if you get a trailer and probably a fifth wheel you don't face the odds of having this kind of a maintenance but a big class a even a this not a big diesel engine uh, they're expensive to have work done on and you can't just have them fixed everywhere and some of the places you take them to have them fixed are not qualified we went to lazy days and they did a horrible job they charge us for stuff they didn't do we've got four or five videos go back or go back and check those out on lazy days they just didn't do it even though they're the biggest like RV they have like 400 uh, lanes 400 maintenance bays and uh, they it was just horrible I don't know if we just got four or five bad mechanics or what but anyway you got a budget for this it could happen it happened to us we're all we not up on top of everything so we make mistakes so you may be a whole lot smarter than we are and may do all your own maintenance and not have to worry about these kind of things but it can happen at least to some extent to everybody uh, so the monthly average we've averaging almost fifteen hundred dollars a month on maintenance the last 12 months for the uh, since we've been doing this eight hundred and fifty dollars a month and that's closer I think a good number if you was to budget for for emergencies and maintenance both five hundred dollars a month that would probably for a diesel pusher uh, that'd probably be pretty good now if you get a newer one probably a lot less ours is a 2007 so uh, you know we know a lot of people that's got a lot older than ours and uh, you just got to be come up with the number you're comfortable with so our insurance we pay fifteen hundred and fifty dollars for our RV full-timers insurance a year we pay eight hundred and fifty dollars for our car insurance and we pay two hundred and eighty five dollars a year for a million dollar umbrella policy and so we add all those up divide by 12 and that gives us two hundred twenty three dollars a month we put in each month I'm guessing this accident where I backed over that pole is gonna 
jack up our rates four or five hundred bucks but we just renewed so we don't have to worry about that till next july august groceries liquor cleaning supplies paper supplies all that goes in this line item uh, we spent a lot more on groceries and one reason is when we put the coach in the shop we took everything out that we could that we thought we could salvage and put it in a cooler and took it to our uh, my brother and sister-in-law's house and some of it just didn't make it you know it was there for several weeks uh, oh we took some of it to the airbnb and, and got to use it but then we went through most of all that so we had to restock pretty much everything once we got the coach back we're averaging right for the last 12 months 958 dollars 890 dollars since we've been doing this now that's not just groceries that sounds like an awful big number but that's groceries paper supplies dog food now if we buy dog food at a pet store or we've been buying it at tractor supply uh, even that we put under pet supplies but if we buy it at a grocery store we don't break all that stuff out that's just too much work if we buy it at a grocery store it goes into the line item of groceries dining out five hundred two dollars we've been averaging three hundred and fifty this year a month and two hundred and eighty six for the thirty months for dining out everybody's going to be different on that but ours is up just because we didn't have our coach uh, internet and cell phone we have uh, two Verizon cell phones we have a jetpack all, all three of those get 15 gigabytes of high-speed internet and then a few months back we bought an, uh, we had another jetpack and we converted it over to an unlimited plan and it's pretty much truly been unlimited and that cost us $65 so for the two phones the jetpack that get 15 gigabytes and then the one uh, unlimited plan it's not available any, any longer it cost us $65 a month and then at my smartwatch I got it with a sale phone number uh, all that combined is uh, $225 and then we bought Pearl she bought a smartwatch as well and uh, she didn't get hers with cell service so hers had to talk to her phone but her phone was too old to talk to so she bought a new cell phone that's $599. Direct TV, $89. Nothing special there. Medical. Direct TV, $89. Nothing special there. Medical. We're both on Medicare. You can see here we have a uh, $135 each for Medicare Part B, so that's $270 a month. We have uh, our Part D for drugs, that's $30 a month. We're going to switch that over in January. We're going to go to a lower price, one of those. Uh, and then we have uh, Medigap, a plan G, like golf. And uh, mine is $115 and Pearl's is $122, and those are going up in January. So that's our monthly uh, medical expenses. And I think I've got a $10. I think there's $10 in there. I bought some prescriptions drugs. I didn't write it in the notes, but I think it's added in there. Pet care, $23. That's dog food that we bought at Tractor Supply. And then we're zero... On the rest of these, I think. So for the month of November, we spent $7,000, $235 a day. The last 12 months, we're averaging $5,123. And for the 30 months, $4,292 per month for our RV adventure. And as you can see, that's a pretty good difference. The reason is we spent $10,000 back here at Lazy Days back in February, Lazy Days in Tampa, Florida. And uh, that was just a fiasco. I don't, you got to go watch the videos. It just gets everybody frustrated to even talk about it. But uh, 
So for the last 12 months, we spent $61,000. And you take all of our expenses since we started the RV Adventure. And you come up with about $51,500 for a 12-month period. And that pretty much covers it. I hope that helps you. Like I say, if you want a copy, send me an email. Here's my email. Be sure and put on there that you like a copy of our expense spreadsheet. And we'll send you a copy. I hope it helps you. I hope you have a great holiday season. Uh, and until we see you again, keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit. Bye-bye, folks.